it's me again just wanted to give you guys a little tour of what I've done to the Millennium G2s thus far um, I added the uh, fiber optic sights as you can see I also added the stainless guide rod take a better look at that in a minute um, and I also did the color fill on the slide I'm happy with the color fill but unfortunately you can't color fill all the gun why because the serial numbers are laser etched so they're just very porous um, markings on the gun they're not defined gouges in the metal that could be filled with ink so they don't really stand out um, they kinda just stand out on their own the way they're laser etched but everything else is pretty much just uh, engraved into the metal so uh, it stands out a lot better using lacquer enamel um, nail polish and acetone free nail polish remover again there's a lot of videos out there that show you how to so I'm just showing you what I've done thus far um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down so you can take a look at what I've done so here we have it stainless guide rod from Lakeline LLC very happy with it works very well and I'm a 300 pound man all right 320 I'll be honest <laughs> And um, it does take a lot to muscle that thing in, thread the the top on the end that actually threads in. Once everything is threaded on, then you kind of reassemble the gun, rack it a couple of times, make sure there's no sticking, the springs are working correctly. Then you take it apart again by simply pulling a little harder once the gun is together. And um, you unscrew that cap, put some thread lock, put it back together in about 24 hours it's set um, you can find instructions on YouTube all over the place and um, also they come with instructions and this is for the in the fiber optic and then this is for the stainless guide rod so it's pretty good in-depth instruction but as you can see those springs are enormous and uh, it takes a lot to muscle them in um, so just to give you guys a heads up if you're a novice I'm sure this stuff can be done excuse me guys I'm sorry I kind of uh, don't have any editing software so this is kind of a one and done video and uh, just giving you a little view of it all the ink I added and these are actually pretty cool because all you gotta do is just snap them right here pop them out and just slide in any other color later on um, they're nice to have downside this screw is a pain to get out and I will show you why that's the location and you need a Torx T8 for the new screw and it has a tendency of moving on you so I tried using needle nose pliers to hold it nice and steady keep it straight and I don't know if you can see that right there but I scratched the living crap out of the finish right there so I'm not happy with that but um, you live and you learn I mean my first time messing with my gun uh, should I brought it to a smith heck no this is easy stuff I mean this is a great gun to modify um, yourself and not have to have a you know smith or a special tool to press lock you know press slide this in it went in fairly easy it just slides in there's your adjustable sight screw I mean you can loosen that up and shift this you know left to right um, this one not so much but I'm pretty happy with it nonetheless it was a good find Lake Line LLC is a great place and I hope they keep making more uh, custom items for this uh, firearm and uh, hopefully a few others that I have um, I have a habit of picking up secondhand firearms so there's a lot of them that are just older models that nobody makes anything for now so you know, hopefully maybe Lake Line will step up. Lake Line LLC. Check it out. Um, I think I dropped like 80 bucks. I can't remember between the sights and the stainless guide rod. But my opinion is worth it. Um, just little things like that make a big difference, you know, when it uh, hits the fan. So that's about it. Hopefully this will give you some insight. Give you an idea of uh, if you guys are looking into possibly upgrading your sights. 
Um, they do have at Lake Line, by the way, uh, night sights. I didn't go with those because I really liked and I haven't really tried the whole fiber optic thing. So, um, I don't know. It might be an option for the future. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and check it out. They actually have some pretty cool stuff.